In this video I will show you how to make a second category ILS approach. You can often see those on YouTube, but actually no one explains how to do it properly. We are doing a night approach to runway 33 with crosswind and visibility equal to quarter of mile. The aircraft is Boeing 737. So let me explain you my ID. During the approach you have to define three independent parameters, which is the approach velocity, neutral pitch angle and neutral heading. The velocity can be calculated directly by your FMC. It depends mostly on the weight of your aircraft and configuration. During a difficult approach, I suggest to set your full landing configuration early on, so you have enough time to find two other parameters. In this video we start with flaps 30, go down and approach speed of 130 knots. We will use throttle to keep the proper speed and try to find the two other values. What do I mean by neutral pitch angle? It is the pitch angle at which, assuming constant approach speed, the glide slope indicator is stationary. The same applies to the heading. At the neutral heading, the localizer indicator is stationary. You have to realize that all corrections that have to be applied to pitch angle or heading must always be made in reference to those neutral positions. Now you will see this approach twice. First time, please observe on the localizer heading and the artificial horizon. The heading of the runway is 3 to 8. If there was no crosswind, that would be my neutral position. Unfortunately, due to the crosswind from the left, the angle will differ and I have to apply correction for the drift. Please note that now the heading is around 3 to 6, 3 to 7. The localizer is moving slowly to the left. I will now turn left a little. Now on the heading of 3 to 5 it is still moving left. Ok, now it's frozen. I believe that my neutral heading would be around 3 to 4 or 3 to 3. Now turning left. The localizer moves to the center. When it's closing, I have to get back to my neutral heading of 3 to 4. Remember to make all corrections relative to this neutral point. Now we are aligned pretty well. Remember to make only slight corrections. Ok, let's go back now. At this time, please observe on the glide slope, artificial horizon and the velocity. I am not using auto throttle here, but when you are not very advanced yet, it may help you a lot. Let me slow down a bit uh, to reach my approach speed of 130 knots. Only at that speed I will be looking for my neutral pitch angle. Ok, now look at the glide slope. It is frozen. I believe I have found my neutral pitch angle to be around 4 degrees. It is important to trim your aircraft at that stage. It will help you a lot.
Okay, I overshot a little. I need to reduce my throttle and drop my nose. Remember that you are making only small corrections around the neutral pitch angle. Also please remember that along with the change of your pitch angle you must use your throttle to maintain constant velocity. Now, when I see the runway lights, I forget about ILS and make a visual approach. Due to crosswind from the left side, I am pointing a little left from the center line. Finally, I flare and use rudder to align my aircraft with the runway. Remember to cut down throttle now. Wind should cause a slight drift to the right, which allows me to touch down right at the center line. After nose will touch down, I use reverse thrust to around 80 knots. Please remember to set your minimums to the height of 100 feet or more for a second category ILS approach. If you are not able to see the runway at that stage, you must go around. I hope that this little tutorial was helpful for you. Now if you want you can see the whole approach once again. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Fifty. 